Hello everybody. I thought I'd uh, do a video here on the Mausers. And uh, the top one is the German K98. And the bottom one is the Yugoslavian M48A with the stamped uh, parts, which a lot of people uh, kind of thumb their nose at, but I picked it up because it's a good looking rifle. Okay, I'm going to get go around in front of the camera here and uh, we'll uh, take a better look. Alrighty, as I come into the picture here and mess up the whole thing, <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to go through too much on these because if you want to go through and have uh, somebody tell you all the ins and outs, there's plenty of videos there. I'm going to pop this open. Okay. Close it back up for a minute here. Put that safety in the safety position. And I'm going to pull the bolt back. The reason I picked this rifle up is it is in excellent shape and little to no wear. In fact, compared to the German K98 that I bought, this one here is definitely a war horse. It has all sorts of wear. But I bought it for historical value. This one here I think is going to be a hunting rifle. The stock is in immaculate shape, the barrel is in immaculate shape, and the bolt, as you can tell, has no rust on it. It still has traces of cosmoline, so I'm going to have to do some cleaning. It did not come with a strap. I did a video on this strap that I bought. So, I'm going to at this point in time try to install this uh, nice strap if I can get it apart. This is why you always buy good tools. I don't think I'm going to do too much with that because of I don't want to cut the leather. That just has knife blades on it. Okay. I'm going to do this video in segments. So hold on. Like I said, you got to get good tools. I had to go get my screwdriver, pry the leather up off the little button here, or bread as you'd like some people would call it, to slide this piece out. Now, I've got this piece off of here. I'm going to slide these off. Those will be going back on there, of course. Okay. This is the first time I've ever put a rifle strap of this type on a uh, rifle like this. So I think yeah it goes that way. I'm gonna have to roll this rifle over this up through here I think it is hmm. 
Let me take a look here. I guess I should have watched the video on doing this prior to uh, it goes down through that way because this has got to be on, on the downward side here and it goes through this oh I gotta get these back on here I think it is yep those go <laughs> okay hold on a minute up here so I put the loops back on there, looped it up through the band here on the front of the rifle, and slip this through here. Yeah, it's going to be stiff. And stubborn. There it goes. There's that. And through here. Come on, stubborn. There we go. Aha. Okay. This will be a little bit different than some of the others. <laughs> Because I got the stitching on one side and on the other. Oh, wheel. Ah. Here comes the fun part. Because ah. now I got to work the strap up. That. up because I've got to work this part through the buckle here like so tighten that up like so slide this through the slot in the butt of the stock like so Flip it over. Now, to fit this back on here, I'm going to use my other Mauser as a guide. Poke this through here. I'm going to go ahead and stick it through the first hole. Wait a minute. Ah, that's what I did wrong. Stick it up through the slot first. As you can tell, I've made my mistakes. Work that through there. There I can see the button. Now I gotta press that down around the button. I wanna move the German one out of the way here. And that's why you keep weapons unloaded so you can work with them there we go we have that pressed down like so now we can turn that over and tighten that up so it's in the slot strap right now 
I'm not going to be carrying the rifle so I can actually tighten it up where it will be tight against the stock. So I will press that like so. Be able to adjust that like so. Push that forward and then come down here, work with these so I can adjust this part of the strap like so. There we go. I'm not going to be carrying the rifle by the rifle strap right as of now. And I don't even have to press the feed dog in on this one. Just like that. Press that all the way over. It's locked. Okay. So I put a rifle strap on there that I bought on eBay for $19. So I've got a rifle to clean. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.